cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS at Tech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad. Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Good day everyone! Magandang umaga po sa lahat ng manonood ng Itulay Online Tutorial for Health Optimizing Physical Education 4. Hello po sa ating mga learners, especially sa ating mga grade 12 students. Hello din po sa ating uh, mga parents and teachers who are watching today. Uh, once again, this is your tutor Shen. Your tutor every Tuesday from 11 o'clock a.m. to 12 noon. And let me help and guide you students to understand more the topic and the set activities for this Hope for subject. So we are already on our third week. And also, uh, please do not forget po, no, to, to like and share the following Itulay Online Tutorial Facebook pages. So we have there... Um, Dep Ed Ed Tech Unit. You, we also have Facebook uh, page uh, for Dep, Dep Ed Philippines, and also Dep Ed Tayo. Also, we have a YouTube channel, so you can subscribe po sa Dep Ed Ed Tech Unit and also Dep Ed TV. Now, again, welcome sa ating Hope for Itulay online tutorial. So, let me greet po muna, pa-shout out po muna sa ating mga viewers for today. Ayan po, uh, good morning, Flor Delisa Ampuan Valle. And then, welcome to Hope for Itulay online tutorial for uh, Ronalu Bernales. So, she is from 12HE Play. GTD LNHS. Welcome. Also, good morning to Mansawi Mamanko. And uh, we also have there and Alexandra Morales. Good morning sa iyo from 12 ICT Lisco uh, GTD LNHS. Also to Leah, uh, Leah May Guerrero. Good morning from 12 HE uh, Duqueas uh, GTD LNHS. We also have there Jerry, Jerry Lay Season from uh, General T. De Leo National High School. So we have a lot of uh, viewers, uh, uh, learners from General T. De, Leo, T. De Leo National High School. Good morning then, uh, Jasmine Fernandez. Okay, another, uh, we have Fatme Padayo for 12 Yums, Durkheim. Uh, ganun din kay Erica Duran, Leia Rose Kipia, 
Renz, uh, Jello Jeresa, Hasmin Fernandez, and Lester J. Gregorio. Uh, sama na rin natin. Hi, Kimberly Pascual. And uh, welcome ulit sa ating Itulay Online Tutorial for Hope 4. So we're about to start na, but uh, let's have a quick review muna no, na regarding our previous lesson. So we we dealt about recreational fitness plan last week, right? So what you have to do is identify uh, the following principles. We talk about different principles of physical activities and also fit principles last week. And then I want you to type the letter of your answer in our comment section. Okay? So I hope you are ready. Are you guys ready? Ready ka na ba, Keziah Garcia from Tiburcio de Leon National High School? How about Arvan J. Re uh, Reno? Are you, are you ready? So I think ready na po kayo. Ayan, sabi ni Kimberly. Yes po. So let's start now with the first question. Now, what principle is considered a development or continuation of the overload principle? Ayan, Armand, ready na din, Alexandra. So please type your answer. Is it A, overload principle, B, principle of progression, C, principle of specificity, or letter D, principle of reversibility. Can you type now your answer, the letter of your answer in our comment box? Yeah, while waiting for your answer po, uh, good morning din sa'yo, Laika Alingal, and also to Christian Dominic Galsim. Yes, can you now type the, your answer? What is this principle? Okay. Now, ang sabi nila kay uh, Laika, Armand, and then Erica, Jenny, and Christian, it's principle of progression. Very good, students. The answer is letter B. Good job. Next, let's move on to question number two. What principle states that a body part gains according to its relevance to the conducted physical activities. Is it A, overload principle, B, principle of progression, C, principle of specificity, or letter D, principle of reversibility? So this time, can you type your answer? Yes, what is this principle? Okay, sabi ni Lea, it's letter, okay, so yes, it's principle of, it should be a principle of specificity. So uh, a certain body part that you wanted to, to improve on, so that will be, that will also be the kind of physical activities na gagawin mo para ma-improve itong body part. So Kezaya Garcia got uh, the correct answer, same with Jimnet. Bellesa, very good on uh, very good on that. Now let's move on to the third. Uh, which among the principles of physical activity is described as the use it or lose it principle? Is it A overload principle? B principle of progression? C principle of specificity or letter D? Principle of reversibility. Can you type in your answer? While waiting for your answer, um, batiin ko muna si MJRC. Good morning from General T. De Leon National High School. Also kay Francine Valiasfin. Kay June Fal uh, Falaria Pepito. Okay, so ayan na yung mga answers nila ni Arcelia, Armand, Erica, Lea May, Jimnet, Jenny, and Laika. Uh, their answer is letter D, that's principle of reversibility. So use it or lose it principle. Good work, students. Now let's have the fourth question. What fit principles refers to the duration spent in doing recreational activity to increase the progress and overload of an activity. So is it A, frequency, 
B, intensity. Letter C, time. Or letter D, type. So we're talking about here the duration spent. So while waiting for your answer, good morning, Andrea Medina from General Tiburcio de Leon National High School uh, from Valenzuela City. Yes, and also kay Mercine Sabandal, good morning. Kay Ayumi Samonte and Margot Nunag. Yes, what, what's your answer, students? Okay, your answer is... Your answer is letter C, time. Very good. And uh, very good on that. Laika, Keziah, Lordan, Jenny, Erica, Mar uh, Margot. Same with jo John Vincent, Jasmine, Arcelia, and Franz Rain. It seems that you really understand the, these principles of phys physical activity and fit principle. Let's have the last question. Now, which among the fifth principles pertains to the number of times recreational activities are done in a week? Yeah. So usually it, it uh, answers the question, how many? Okay. Sige, while waiting for your answer again sa ating comment box, let me greet Kevin, Kevin's uh, Stephen uh, Bu Busog from... Uh, 12 ABM Ramos, General T. De Leon National High School. And also to uh, Rovic T. Reyes from 12 Gas, Darwin. Okay, ayan na ang kanilang mga sagot. Yes, Arcelia, Jenny, Margot, Erica, Fatme, Jan Vincent. Your answer is correct. Sama na natin si Rona Lu. It's frequency. Ayan. So, very good on that, students. Um, uh, the previous lesson last week is is about fit principles and physical activity pr principles. Now remember, no, uh, ang fit principles. Okay, this uh, this principles it gives you an outline how you can manipul manipulate yung in yung fitness program yung activities ninyo to get in shape and syempre, to get better results. Okay, and with this fit principles, now you can figure out no, uh, you. If, if you want to change your uh, workouts uh, just to avoid yung boredom, uh, overuse injuries, okay? So, yan yung mga benefits at importance ng principles of physical activities and then fit principles. Congratulations sa lahat ng mga nag-participate and especially um, for the students who got a perfect answer for this review. Now, this time... Let's have another activity. This is entitled Guest Who. Okay. Now, I just want you to identify, all right, uh, with, the, with the picture that I will show on the screen later on. Okay. And then also, I want you to type the name of the person. You may also include uh, your idea about this person. Now, let me show you. Are you ready? Okay. Now, now tell me, who is this person that you can see on your screen? Guess who? Can you now type your, uh, the name? Can you type the name of your answer? And uh, somehow you, you you can include as well um, uh, uh, the about the activity or saan mas naging kilala ang taong ito. Okay, sabi ni Arcelia Onesimus, okay, Garduse. Pero may question mark, no? But uh, uh, maybe you were able to... Uh, uh, heard this uh, from the news and napag-aralan na previously. Okay. Yes. Ayan. Nasabi na ni Lordan F. Acuna. Okay. Romeo or Romy Garduse. Yes. Very good, Lordan. So, si Lordan binigay niya yung complete name of this person. Yes, that's that's correct. Uh, this is uh, Romy Garduse. And uh, kindly give uh, a brief uh, information about this person. Uh, according to Arcelia Onesimus, a uh, Filipino summiter, okay, yeah, one, uh, isa yung uh, Mount Everest, very good. 
uh, same thing with uh, Laura Dunn. Okay, first Philippine, Filipino to, co to complete the seven summit. Very good students. Okay, so you already have the idea with this person. Yes, you know, that is uh, uh, certainly correct. Uh, Romeo Garduse is the first uh, Filipino who historically complete the Rene Own seven summits of the world. Okay, so that's again, Romeo Romy Garduse. Okay, so he was able to climb uh, um, yung seven summits, no? Na like, for example, yung Mount Everest, okay, yung uh, Aconcagua, Denali. Uh, we also have their Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount uh, Elbrus, Mount uh, Karstens, okay? And uh, also the Mount uh, Vinson in Ar Antarctica, okay? So that's Romeo Garduse. So, um in that case, what particular physical activity mas naging uh, nakilala si Romeo Garduse? Can you tell me, my dear learners? Anong classing physical activity that ca it, it, it is also considered a uh, recreational activity? It's about okay it's uh the, the physical activity is yes we have their mountaineering okay yeah very good so today we are going to discuss about moderate to vigorous physical activities so particularly we are going to uh, learn more about mountaineering activities for hasmin uh, fernandez sabi niya uh, uh he is a mountain climber all right now let's uh, let me give emphasis to our most essential learning competency for today. So engages in moderate to vigorous physical activities or uh, known as MVPAs for at least 60 minutes most days of the week in a variety of setting in and out of school. And these are uh, our specific objectives is um, you have to engage in moderate to vigorous physical activities for at least 60 minutes most days of the week in a variety of settings in and out of school. Uh, we will also discuss the nature and background of mountaineering activities and also identify the basic fundamental skills in hiking. Lastly, familiarize with the different facilities and equipment used in mountaineering activities. So are you guys ready to learn more about this? Okay, but before that, I want you to have this activity essential question right and go. Now, I just want you to answer this question and please type your answer uh, in our comment uh, section. Now, how will you benefit from engaging to physical activity like mountaineering? While waiting for your answer, let me greet again some of our uh, viewers. Yeah, well, good morning, Kelly Binalay Jr. Uh, from 12 Gas Integrity Parada National High School. Also, uh, let me welcome Rosemary De Vera from 12 ABM Ramos General T. De Leon National High School. And we also have their Jessica Doll. Good morning. From ABM 12 Empathy Parada National High School Senior High School. Okay. Also, kay Clifford, Andre Cadil. Good morning, sayo. Eldrian Luminario, and Maria Genevieve G. Clemente. Okay. Now we have an answer here now from Armand J. Ray, uh, Reno. Yeah. So probably, yeah. Sabi niya kasi strength. So probably we can improve one's strength by engaging to this mountaineering activity that is correct how about the others book can you can you uh can you type in our comment box what can you gain if you engage to this mountaineering activity from uh, arcelia onesimus and uh, jasmine fernandez so they have uh, both uh the same answer by engaging to this uh, mountaineering activity it can improve your Mass, uh, your cardiovascular endurance. Very good. Somehow, yes, it can reduce body fat from just mean. Good, good work. And 
Kay Leia May Guerrero, it enhances your cardiovascular endurance and muscular strength. Okay, very good answers on this, students. So at least you already have the idea. Somehow you, uh, you already have the idea on how to do this kind of activity. So it's, it's a matter of really um, uh, walking or hiking on the mountain. Yes. So let's learn more uh, how we can benefit from this. So let's start our discussion about mountaineering. So are you guys ready to learn more about mountaineering? Okay, that's good. So you already have, uh, sige, keep it, uh, keep it coming na lang sa mga answers pa, improve physical fitness. So you could uh, also check later on, no, na how can we really benefit from this kind of activity? So mountaineering, this is an outdoor recreational activity. And uh, also this is known as a sport of mountain climbing. Okay? And um, uh, this is an example of yeah, an outdoor recreational activity that you can enjoy with your family and friends. And we also have uh, in line with mountaineering activities. So these are the uh, uh, common activities related with mountaineering activities. We have their hiking and trekking. So again, these are the two outdoor activities or the common term uh, terms um, uh, associated with mountaineering activities. So let's define uh, or let us know what could be the difference between hiking and trekking. Uh, students, let me know nga your answer, uh, your idea po. No? Which one is more difficult to to in uh, to do? Is it hiking or trekking? Can you please uh, type sa ating comment box? Saan kaya ang mas challenging? Si hiking or si trekking? Okay, for Lorden Acuna, trekking. Okay, can you can you cite? Uh, Lorda, no? Bakit kaya mas challenging ang trekking? If possible then, June, Falaria Pepito, or, uh, and uh, Leia May Guerrero, can you, can you write down your answer? Why is trekking more uh, challenging or more difficult compared with hiking? Same thing with Kesaya. Uh, uh, their answer is, still, is also trekking. Okay, actually that is correct, no? Uh, mas challenging talaga si trekking compare kay hiking. Okay, so at this point of time, let's know the difference between hiking and trekking. Ayan, sige. Uh, basahin ko yung answer ni Jen na no? Valyada. Hike, uh, it's, uh, trekking is more challenging than hiking because you'll be walking for a multiple days in a row very good okay and uh, sabi ayan na uh, answer naman ni Lorda no um uh ang ang trekking uh, it would last few days uh, weeks or even months and it should it must have a plan preparate preparation okay so for for the others who do not know the difference between these two let's have here uh, the difference, okay, when it comes to the duration, uh, same with Lordan and uh, uh, and Jasmine's answers answer earlier, no? Um, and hiking, this this usually lasts less than a day or between two to eight, to eight hours. You can reach the top of the mountain uh, within uh, uh, half of the day or within the day, okay? Meanwhile, kapag trekking naman, so... Tama yung sinabi nila, Lordan, it could last for a few days, weeks, or even months. When it comes to preparation, uh, for hiking, it does not uh, typically require much planning. Uh, though you really need to plan, so for example, the, the place, what you have to bring, okay, uh, your, uh, what, what, uh, what are the things to be considered, okay, so, uh, meanwhile, kapag trekking naman, well, this would require you an extent, extensive planning. For example, uh, since it would take uh, for, for days, for weeks, or months, okay, yung mga ruta na dadaanan, it's like you have to, to carefully plan and uh, uh, kung, kung baga saan you have to uh, locate uh, and conquer yung mga, uh, mga marked trails. 
And also, you also have to plan, for example, the, the food uh, that you have to bring for the number of weeks or months uh, or, or month. And also, yung mga essential needs pa na kailangan when you undergo this kind of physical activity. So that's for the uh, uh, duration and preparation. Also, uh, we can also differentiate uh, this these activities with the trail. Now, for hiking, uh, the trails are usually marked up, okay? And uh, for trekking naman, this might, uh, might vary, might change during the course. Okay, so it, it depends on the, the trekkers as well. Siyempre, when, when they want to explore uh, the nature, the, the place, okay? And also, it also differ with its intensity. Uh, for hiking there, um, we can see that uh, it requires moderate, intense physical preparation as many consider it as a leisure activity. Since uh, you might be walking uh, for, uh, for hours uh, and then uh, yung, yung pacing mo naman ay hindi naman uh, ganun ka, uh, uh, yung uh, how, you, how you do because it's like uh, you can reach the, the top of, of the mountain for uh, a couple of hours. And like for trekking, it will really it, 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 uh, require you a more intense physical training since you have to walk, all right, or you have to engage to this activity for a longer period of time. So you um, equip or improve ang iyong cardiovascular endurance um, and uh, with the trails that you have to to go to, okay, somehow there are there there could be uh, mga challenging um, or yung mga steep areas, okay, wherein it would really require you strength. So that's the difference between hiking and trekking. So you can see that they differ with uh, it's the intensity, the duration, your preparation, and the trail. So tama po ang inyong sagot that trekking is more challenging than hiking next uh we have here mountaineering essentials we were able to to talk about earlier no yung preparation that you'll be needing uh things when you do this kind of mountaineering activity so let's learn the different mountaineering essentials so first you'll be needing a backpack so a backpack, this is a large pack that is supported by may tinatawag tayong external or internal frame. And it is used especially for carrying your supplies when hiking and camping. So uh, with your backpack, you might put here all the things, the important things, the essential things that you need as you engage to this activity. For backpack, uh, we have here internal backpack and external backpack. So we will know the difference between these uh, two kinds of backpack. Let's start with the internal backpack. Uh, this is considered as the standard backpacking frame type and uh, it is characterized with most weight at center high between the shoulder blades and close to your back. Okay, so meaning to say, yung, uh, as, as you put your, your, uh, your things here when you use this internal backpack, so mostly, ang, ang bigat, okay, ay nasa center. So let me show you yung distributing uh, pack weight niya, okay? So we have there three colors for you to identify uh, to, what, uh, to, to what area will you need, uh, will you have to place yung mga objects na dadali nyo. If you are going to to bring yung mga heavy heavy uh, things na kailangan ninyo, you have to put it here at uh, at the back close close to your back. Okay? So sabi ng natin um the, the yung uh, yung distribution ng weight no. So uh, yung bigat ay mostly nasa center. So uh, gamit ninyo na mabibigat, you have to put this uh, in this area. And then yung mga medium uh, objects or gamit ninyo, okay, here on the top. And somehow, eh, dito naman sa part na to, at the bottom, is yung mga lightweight objects na kailangan ninyong dalhin. So this is for the internal backpack. 
let's now move on to the external backpack. And uh, for external backpack, this is recommended for trail hiking only. And sa natin ilalagay yung mga uh, heavy weight na uh, items na dadali natin, okay? It should be packed on top and closest to the back to the center, the pack's weight, over the hips and help you to stay in a more upright stance. Para din yung sa inyong balance. So how, uh, for you to understand well, yung external backpack. Uh, for internal backpack, ma medyo nasa center siya, no? Uh, for the external backpack, you can see uh, see here, okay, at the center but mostly um, somehow on the top. So this is the area where you have to put your heavy items. And uh, for the medium weight items, so uh, here at the middle, and still here ang mga lightweight objects na kailangan ninyong gawin. So, eh. Uh, backpack is very essential because uh, at least uh, ito na yung uh, gamit kung saan lahat ng gagamitin mo for this activity ay mailalagay mo na sa inyong backpack. Now, we have here tips to a backpack. What, ha what are the things that you have to, to consider, all right, when you have, when you uh, this is uh, when you have to prepare your backpack. So this is according to American Hi Hiking Society Organization 2020 para mas uh, ma-organize ninyo ang inyong gamit. So we have here the first one. Uh, you have to find the right backpack, small bag for a day's hike. So um, this would depend on the number of days. Siyempre na kailangan ninyong... Um, uh, isagawa ang inyong mountaineering activity. So, if it's just a very short uh, hike lang, lang naman, okay, you can bring a small bag. Or, and, but if you, if you have to last for a couple of days or weeks, syempre mas malaking backpack ang needed ninyo because you have to bring uh, added um, essentials for this activity. Next, sleeping bag uh, at the bottom. And then, back breakers, heavier items should be kept at your back para ma-maintain yung, yung stance, yung balance. Also, uh, we you can also plan for easy access maps, uh, flashlight, first aid, and trail snack uh, at outside pouches. So, aside from, the, uh, from how you organize, Okay, the things on your back, uh, on your backpack. Okay, so at least uh, try to put your uh, this essential uh, essential items like flash fla flashlight, first aids, and trace na uh, trail snack. Uh, we're in. You can have an easy access just in case you you needed uh, in case of uh, emergency or an injury. You can easily get the first aid. No. Or if it's dark already, uh, easy access to get your flashlight. Hindi yung ta halos tatanggalin mo pa lahat ng gamit mo, okay, before you could get these items. Next is don't waste space food inside cooking pots and uh, zip clothes. So yung mga different ways on how you organize yung, yung damit mo na wherein hindi siya magkukos ng a lot of space when you put it inside your backpack. Okay, so... We um we also have there uh, prevent food and gear spoilage. So you really have to check kung ito ay talagang um, you were able to lock it properly. And uh, uh, you have to uh, stay in a few days, for example, na you, you have to bring some food wherein na hindi siya kagat masisira. Next, you can uh, waterproof your pack. Now, there are some backpacks na waterproof naman na siya. So, especially, for example, hindi mo masasabi na kapag um, biglang umulan or, for example, in the morning, yung moist, okay? So, it would prevent na mabasa ang inyong mga gamit, especially uh, some uh, objects or items na hindi dapat nababasa. And the last, uh, last uh, one is... Uh, wear your pack correctly, proper tightening of the straps. So yung iba kasi, no, parang it like, uh, it, it seems that uh, masyadong loosen. So the tendency is parang nadadrag din yung weight mo pa baba. So you have to tighten the straps. So these are just examples or tips on how to pack your backpack.
Aside from the backpack, we have here the footwear. So they are different footwears that you can use when you engage to hiking or trekking. Let's have the first one. We have this hiking shoes. Uh, these are flexible shoes, but um, uh, uh, used for hiking or for hiking, but somehow it provides less support. Aside from hiking shoes, we have there the hiking boots. So here, as you can see, it gives more support and it has more uh, protective uh, features uh, com uh, compared with the uh, hiking shoes, okay? Next, we have here the, the backpacking boots. Um, so yung, pang, uh, yung support uh, um, design nitong shoes na to is usually used for longer treks. And uh, since it's longer treks, you'll be carrying heavy loads uh, of items so those are examples of footwear so it would just also depend uh, with uh with if you're gonna engage into a hiking activity or a trekking activity aside from footwear we have this trekking pole so by by, by looking at the video somehow you already have the idea with uh, this uh, kind of equipment next we also have their uh, other must-have essentials. Okay, so aside from the backpack where you have to put your things, yung shoes to give you um, uh, aid as well, or hindi masyado din uh, to protect your 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 um, lower extremities as you walk, and also yung mga trekking poles to to aid ang uh, ang hikers or or trekker, trekkers as they they walk and uh, go uh, on top of the mountain especially lalo na kasi pag sa, sa uh, trekking poles kapag may mga pro, may mga knee problems no uh, with this kind of uh, ac um, equipment uh, hindi masyadong mapupwersa ang inyong tuhod so with that uh, essentials let's have the other essentials or other must have essentials that you have to bring when you engage to this kind of activity so the first one we have there, the first aid kit. So remember, no, uh, this is very important in case of emergency or my injuries na hindi inaasahan uh, while uh, 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 during the uh, hiking activity. Uh, aside from that, uh, you'll be needing water, syempre, no? So to prevent you, uh, to, uh, to prevent you from dehydration, so you'll be needing water. Also, Yung sleeping essentials, especially if you have to stay there for uh, for weeks or for months. Okay, ang, ang sleeping essentials natin, uh, it can be merong mga sleeping bag, may mga sleeping pad, okay? Or maybe you got, you have to bring uh, a tent wherein uh, that's uh, that's the place where, where you can rest and sleep. Next one, you have their cooking essentials uh, for, for the number of days. Um, syempre yung food na kakainin mo somehow or uh, you were able to prepare yung mga pots, okay, uh, yung mga kailangan mo para makaluto. Aside from that, it's also essential yung mga two-way radio kung meron, but mostly uh, you have your cell phone naman for in case of emergency that you have to call for help, okay, or sometimes ginagamit na rin natin uh, uh, to take pictures, Yes, kay Lorda, no, sinabi niya ng topographic map. That is correct. So, you also need uh, to, you need some topographic map, okay? Oh, yes, we also call that as trail map, okay? Uh, just to be, at least, to be, to be aware where you are already, how long do you think you could reach the top of the mountain or yung mga dadaanan mo, especially uh, yung mga safe areas na dadaanan. Also, yes, you have there the insect repellent or sunscreen, yeah, especially if you have uh, sensitive skin, okay? You can bring those uh, repellent. Also, yung fire starter or matches kung gusto nyo mag bonfire. But then on, uh, there are areas where in, uh, hindi na rin pinapayagan ang, ang bonfire. But uh, specifically, if, if you have to cook, no, you'll also be needing these matches or fire, uh, or tawag din natin fire starter. 
Next, you, you might, if you have your bina uh, binoculars, so just to to see more um, yung area, no? Uh, to see it. Uh, and also, meron naman na kayong camera, okay? To also to take pictures uh, with uh, sa beauty ng, ng nature. Aside from that, you have your multi-tool or your knife. You can use this uh, sa pagluluto or for example, um, uh, ga, may mga puputulin kayo, like for example, uh, some some wood, uh, some sticks uh, na gagamitin niyo. So you have this multi-tool or knife. And uh, the last one is sufficient food. So, so you really have to to plan, okay, uh, for for the number of days that you have to uh, engage with that uh, particular mountaineering activity. Okay, you have to yung yung needs na kailangan mo within the day and for how many or for how many days. So these are uh, or or what we call the other must-have essential aside from the backpack, footwear, and the trekking pole. Now. Uh, sabi ni Jenny Valiada, no, um, essential din ba yung uh, whistle? Yeah, somehow, uh, pwede rin to, no, kasi um, uh, it's it's a form of communication, no, kung malayo, at least pag uh, may whistle or nag, nagkaroon pa kayo ng mga, ano dyan, no, uh, for example, uh, uh, kung uh, long blow ng whistle, ano ibig sabihin yan? May form of communication kayo. So, in case of emergency, okay, or in case na, uh, need help, right? You might be uh, using a whistle. Uh, at least naririnig din nila somehow nasa ang parte ka, nasa ang area ka. So yeah, we can also consider whistle, Janame. So those are the other essentials. Now we have here basic skills and hiking and uh, trekking. Now with, with this kind of um, activity po, all right, uh, syempre, uh, every every activities that we can engage no uh, there are some skills that we need to to consider and uh, for the basic hike uh, basic hiking uh, hiking skills po okay we have here the first one is you have to set your hiking space so we need to say for for hikers, no. You, you also have to determine yung pacing ng iyong katawan, because you also have to. Uh, it's very important that you have to prepare your heart, your lungs, your legs para sa malakasang walk o yung ma, ma, uh, mahaba habang lakaran. And uh, as you set your hiking space, no, it could also establish what may be a good pace para sa katawan mo, okay? Uh, later on, we can have uh, uh, or uh, we have there the tips uh, to find your pace. Now, for example, as as you set your hiking pace, pwede nang, for example, um, you can start with uh, a fairly or easy walk. No, you may just chill na walk lang for five minutes, and uh, with the same uh, pace, uh, same length, okay, and also the same speed ng inyong pag step. Okay. And then after that, try to check yung breathing, uh, ang, ang paghihinga niyo ninyo. If, if it's a normal breathing with that fairly easy and walk for five minutes, no? Kung kaya at normal pa. You, you, you try to increase your pace and, you know, start over kung uh, kaka, uh, kakayanin mo. Okay. For pag kapag if you are breathing heavily and you are sweating na, no? So that's the time you have to slow down your pace. Then start over ka ulit. Uh, kung moderate, kung, kung fair, uh, fairly easy walk lang siya. Okay? So you try to repeat this uh, uh, kind of um, activity, no? Until you could be able to determine yung pacing, a good pace na akmang-akma sa iyong pangangatawan. Okay? Sa kaya ng iyong katawan. So in that case, somehow you 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 know uh, if if you engage now to an ha a hiking activity or trekking activity, no. So at least uh, you could you know you have you you were, you were able to find your steady pace. Next one is establishing your rhythm. Okay, so this would require you to uh, breathe and. Uh, 
and uh, and pace uh, min, uh yung breathing rate and yung pacing rate mo for a long uh, a long period of time so yung rhythm no so for example no when when you walk you may swing your arms synchronous sa step okay na hinahakbang mo okay so so that you can maintain a good momentum so with that no it's it's just a matter of of pacing and establishing your rhythm when you engage to hiking and trekking activities okay so those are the basic skills in hiking and trekking now uh, at this point of time i would uh, let you sh uh, i would want to show you a certain video of uh, of a mountaineer or, or or the nature as uh, itself and uh, some of the mountaineers as they engage to this kind of activity you can you know you can imagine yourself as well okay how would you feel okay when you uh, engage yourself to this kind of activity so uh, let us watch this video so you can see here um some of the some of the famous mountaineering places that you can that you can go on when you engage yourself to hiking and trekking activities so somehow you already have idea no what could be your the, the benefits that you can uh, that you can gain from this you may enjoy the nature okay some of you already have a background no ayan nakikita natin yung mga some of the essential things that you need to bring during a hiking or trekking activity Also, you can imagine, no, um, you are walking with your friends and family okay. while enjoying the nature. And imagine yourself, uh, how would you feel if you're able to reach the top of the mountain? Okay. Uh, you, can, you can enjoy sceneries. Okay some animals somehow okay especially if you like uh challenging activities as well So one, we have the Pico de Loro. That's also one of the famous place to go to, uh, for a mountaineering activity. Uh, you can enjoy uh, the clouds. The different. Uh, you can really enjoy how and appreciate how rich. Uh, ang Pilipinas din sa mga natural resources. Alright. Yeah, so those are some of the famous places uh, uh, wherein you can engage to, mo uh, to a mountaineering activity. So different benefits, yes, that's correct. No, you can really improve your cardiovascular endurance because you have to walk for a longer period or for a sustained period of time. And uh, also, uh, you mga skills, no, somehow your leadership skills, you can also develop uh, with this kind of activity. Uh, somehow your socialization, your form of communication. So not just the physical aspect, no, but... Uh, as well as with uh, the um, social aspect or mental 
uh, mental aspect can be can be improved when you engage to mountaineering activities. Okay? So uh, depende rin sa mga uh, sa activity kasi now if we, it it could be con- considered as moderate or vigorous. So particularly with the ex- uh, with the kind of challenging activity for a trekking uh, activity no it's 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 considered it's considered a vigorous uh, intensity of activity now uh, let's wrap up no uh, let's summarize uh, what you have learned for today's activity so students you just have to answer this question po no uh, this activity rather you just have to match the usage and description of tools and equipment of each picture below by choosing the letter. Are you guys ready? So these are some of the essential uh, uh, items that you need when you engage to mountaineering activities. Let's start with the first one. This is the most important equipment. So sabi nila, ito yung considered most in, most important um for hiking and trekking which is known as your ho- as your home on your backpack okay so what could be your answer can you please type your your type your answer in the comment section yeah for arcelia onesimus and jenny may her their answer is letter b that is correct so we have there the backpack next so very good, uh, Erwin, Lorden, Rosemary, Jenny, Jenny May. Let's have number two. This is as, a, as a, this is an essential aid for those with knee problems, which provide lateral stability on steep slopes and aid in climbing rocks or boulders. What is the answer for this? Sabini France Rain. Valias Fien, it's letter C. We have there the trekking poles. Very good. Next, number three. This footwear is lighter than boots and more flexible but offers less support. Okay, what's what kind, uh, what letter is the correct answer for number three? Okay, Lorden's answer is letter E. Very good. Yeah, it's uh, it's a hiking shoes. Same thing with Trixie and Alexander Morales. Their answer is letter a uh, letter E rather. Letter E. It's the hiking shoes. Next, number four. It it presents the vertical position of features in measurable form as well as their horizontal position that leads to finding a specific location. So what is this? What is your answer? Okay. Ronalu Bernales and uh, Arcelia Onesimus and Fatme and Franz Rain. Their answer is letter B. We have there the topographic map. Very good. Then Kenneth, uh, Ryan J. Your answer is correct. Same with Andrea Israel. And the last one, it is a collection of medical tools and equipment necessary for a possible hike or trek injuries. What is your answer? Okay, the last one, yeah, yes. Franz Rain, Armand, uh, Arcelia, Onesimus, and Rosemary Reyes, the answer is letter A. So we have here the first aid kit. Very good job, uh, very good work on that, students. You're able to to learn the different, uh, to match and learn, uh, learn and match the different uh, essential items when you engage to hiking or trekking. Very good. Okay, so uh, with that po, no, um, week, week three lesson natin, it's, it's about mountaineering activities. Though uh, somehow uh, nasa GCQ, uh, some areas, no, heightened and we, we are uh, height, um, nasa GCQ tayo, but uh, 
uh, still we are encouraged still uh, we are still encouraged to stay at home so you might be at least do some moderate activities and uh and vigorous activities at home now you can choose other recreational activities that uh, you can participate now uh, for at least uh, you can achieve fitness and you can improve your health related fitness so marami pong salamat uh, students sa inyong participation at um, uh, congratulations uh, good work po sa mga uh, students na they uh, they were they understand the the lesson and gave correct answers a virtual clap po para sa inyo and then um, we would uh, appreciate uh, if you have some uh, comments and suggestion po so you can just email us at edtech at deped.gov.ph okay so uh, thank you you're welcome Kenneth Chavez it. And let me end po now with uh, with this uh, quotation po. Never be discouraged if I were sunk in the lowest peaks of Nova Scotia with Rocky Mountains piled on me, I would hang on, exercise faith, and keep up a good courage. And I would come out on top by jo Joseph Smith Jr. So same thing, no? Uh, when uh, para lang na when you want to reach the top of the mountain and along the way uh, there are some difficulties and challenges that you have to take no no so i hope you would uh, exercise your faith so same thing with that kung anuman ang challenges na nararanasan natin with our family with our situation uh, since uh, may pandemic tayo nararanasan no so i still Hope that you will exercise your faith. Keep up um, a good fight of faith. Uh, be strong enough to, to overcome those challenges. And then I hope you could visual, uh, visualize now that you would really come out on top. So kahit sa inyo grade 12 students, you are uh, graduating students. No matter how hard can be yung mga patong-patong na activities for somehow with with some problems that arise within your family, with your finances, uh, etc. No, so I still hope that you would come out on top. And sa July ay talagang ga graduate po kayo. Okay. So with that, marami pong salamat sa inyong pakikinig, and I hope you really learn a lot for our week three lesson on health optimizing physical education. For once again, this is your tutor Shen, and we will see each other again next week on Tuesday. Keep safe, everybody. God bless. Bye bye. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Ito Live free online tutorial session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Ito Live tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines social media accounts. Paalam!